Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Senator Murray, and I want to thank you for coming for the committee today, uh, uh, Secretary Mayorkas. Uh, look, I uh, all you have to see is what's gone on on the southern border, and um, you know that we're in a situation that needs immediate repair, immediate fixing, immediate overhaul, whatever you want to call it. Uh, when I visit with the folks in Montana, um, look, it's kind of like a Reagan philosophy for them. Legal immigration, they're okay with. Illegal immigration needs to end and needs to end yesterday. Um, I've made clear that that both the President, you, and Congress needs to step up to address this problem in a very proactive way. Should have done it a long time ago. Uh, we are seeing a high number of encounters at the southern border. Um, we all talk about fentanyl coming into this country. And quite honestly, uh, all the way up to the northern border, by the way, it's affected Montana in a big, big way. Uh, this poison is killing a lot of people. Uh, as, the, as, the, as the chairman of this committee pointed out, a couple of months ago, Congress had its opportunity to do something about the southern border and the northern border, I might add, and Montana being a northern border state, that's important, and I think you know that they'll go to the weakest link in the fence. And Congress decided to play politics with it. And see, in the last 60 days, I can tell you, the week after we failed to pass that bill, there were uh, at times where 6,500 people were coming across that border, and they could have been stopped if we would have passed this bill, and we chose not to, to play politics with it. And if you want to see how it's being played politics with, come to Montana and turn on the TV. The fact is the border needs to be fixed, and we need to step up as Congress. The administration needs to step up. You need to step up. And I think if we're able to do that, we can fix it. But it's going to take continual due diligence on the border to make it happen. After Congress missed their opportunity to help fix this problem by changing the asylum rule and bringing technology to the southern border and bringing manpower to the southern border, I called on you and, and President Biden to use your executive powers to do whatever you could do to secure that border, as many of my colleagues have talked about here. So my question for you is, does the administration have any plans to use any additional executive powers to address the situation at the southern border? Uh, Senator Tester, um, uh, we continue to consider what additional executive actions we could take uh, that would survive uh, legal scrutiny and have an impact on border security. And I should note uh, that the effort to close the border through executive action is something that the prior administration tried and they were enjoined uh, from doing so. So the real enduring solution is the bipartisan piece of legislation uh, that was negotiated intensely over several months, but we are and continue to look at what executive actions uh, we can take. Well, it's apparent the status quo uh, has not worked and is not working uh, currently. And I would also uh, say that uh, this, um, this proposal for funding for Homeland Security is inadequate and we need to work on this. I will say the same thing, by the way, about the Defense Subcommittee budget. It is inadequate. I don't know about the others, but we've got to figure out a way to fix this because the threats at the southern border and the threats we see in the world through the Defense Committee are entirely connected. And so that if we see folks coming across the border, um, you know, they aren't necessarily from the countries we assume they're from. Um, we've had folks that potentially could be terrorist threats. And if they get into the country, it's, it's a problem. So I would call on all my colleagues on the Appropriations Committee to work together in a bipartisan way to try to get these budgets up to a point where they really will do the job that the American people expect in the southern border and the northern border and the Department of Homeland Security, whether it's a hurricane in Louisiana or whether it's people coming across the border, need the resources to get this done. Um, you know, the National Border Council, which represents thousands of Border Patrol agents to keeps our borders safe. Um, they endorsed that bill that, we, that the Congress decided to play politics with two months ago. Um, it said it would drop illegal border crossings nationwide 
It would allow our agents to get back to detecting and apprehending those who want to cross our border illegally and evade apprehension. You talked about the border bill and how important it was to get across. Let's just assume for a second in an ideal world that we as Congress people quit taking our instructions from people who want to play politics with policy and actually pass good policy. Is there anything else that needs to be done if we were to pass that border bill that the chairman of this committee and Langford and Sinema negotiated out? That, um, that bipartisan border bill would have been transformative in advancing the security of our border. Anything else need to be done other than that? Um, in the immigration system writ large, uh, the legal immigration system, um, there are many other fixes that need to be made. But from a border security perspective, this was an extraordinary legislative measure. Extraordinary. Uh, thank you. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a few more questions, that we'll, but we'll present for the record. Thank you. And thanks, Senator Murray. Uh, Senator Murkowski. Mr. Chairman, thank you. 